very quick brief. Uh, this brief is after a meeting of the Funeral Planning Committee uh, for His Excellency Jerry John Rawlings, former President of the Republic of Ghana. And I am instructed by the Funeral Planning Committee to make this announcement um, to the nation. First, I want to introduce to you, um, may I say, some categories of uh, members of the, the team. Uh, we have the security agencies comprising the armed forces, the police, etc., who will be providing a lot of logistical support. And indeed, on the very final day, who will be taking charge of the entire enterprise. May I ask you just to rise at the back so that we can acknowledge the security agencies that are working with us. Thank you very much. Please resume your seat. We have uh, government representatives from State Protocol, um, uh, Jubilee House, etc., who are here with us. May I ask the government representatives also to rise so that we can acknowledge you. We are pleased to have with us the uh, family of His Excellency, the former president, nuclear and extended. Please rise, let us acknowledge you as well. We are also, thank you very much, we are pleased to have with us representatives of the Unlock Traditional Council led by the uh, Awadada himself who is here. Let's acknowledge you, sir. Thank you very much. Those are the representatives of the Unlock Traditional Council. So this is a very simple brief as I mentioned and I will take uh, any questions that you have subsequent to that. The activities to celebrate the life and inter the mortal remains of His Excellency, the former president, are the ones I'll outline to you shortly. I also want to acknowledge al Haji Mahama Idrisu of the National Democratic Congress. He's chair of the Council of Elders. He's here with us. Laji, thank you very much uh, for being with us. Um, so let me outline to you the activities. On the 22nd and the 23rd of January, 2021, the Anglo Traditional Council will hold a series of celebratory and traditional events in Anglo to celebrate the life of His Excellency, the former President, Jerry John Rawlings. Those activities will come to an end on the 23rd of January, 2021, in Anglo. On Sunday, the 24th of January, the national activities will start with a Catholic Requiem Mass at the Holy Spirit Cathedral here in Accra, and then a vigil at the Air Force Base here in Accra at 6 p.m. Monday, 25th of January, 2021, the mortal remains of His Excellency, the former president, will be laid in state for filing past by various categories of the general public, starting first with the heads of security agencies, leaders of political parties, and then the general public. We've already received indication from several groupings within the general public, including political parties, volunteer groups, etc., that we want to file past. We would encourage you to uh, make your details known here at the desk at the Accra International Conference Center so that priority can be given to all of these groups when it is time for the general public and the subgroupings within the general public uh, to file past. On Tuesday, the 26th of January, 2021, filing past resumes at 9 a.m., led by His Excellency the President of the Republic, followed by the Vice President, former heads of state, the heads of constitutional bodies as well. At 10 a.m., Parliament, led by the Right Honourable Speaker and former speakers, will file past. At noon, the Chief Justice, um, Justices of the Supreme Court and former Chief Justices will file past. At 1 p.m., the former Chairman and members of the Council of State, former Ministers of State, will also file past. At 2 p.m., members of the Diplomatic Corps will file past. And then at 3 p.m., we will make way for traditional and customary rites and celebrations um, while the body is in state. 
on the 27th of January 2021, that is on Wednesday, there will be a burial service with full military honors at the Black Star Square here in Accra, led by the Ghana Armed Forces, after which the mortal remains of His Excellency the former President will be interred at the military cemetery at Burma Camp. These are the details of the activities to celebrate the life and to inter the mortal remains of His Excellency the former President Jerry John Rawlings. In the few minutes that we have, when I'm done with a quick wrap, um, for the benefit of those who report for some of the local language stations, I'll take questions or clarifications that uh, you may have. Um, on Penida that Jerry John Rawlings, Emrasu said, you have a crab, yeah. Now, the funeral planning committee, any Nebusia, any Anglo traditional council, and Nemo Sempeni Funi now has your Magia Coven Kumi said, 22nd, 23rd January, Anglo traditional council, every year, um, they are a friend of celebration and traditional activities, ever Anglo, and the Jamano. They are mining in our area in Fiasia, Kosia, the 24th of January. Their Catholic Mass or Holy Spirit Cathedral and Santa Vigil, our Air Force Base, our Krahasi. Juada, 25th of January, Enna, Yade, Nimuno, Ebeto, Ibium, Na, Ubibiara, Obepese, Obeba, Bitran, Kusin, Chatwo, Potokasam, YCP, the final respects, Nabe, Fitia, Sieno, or three heads of security agencies, any leaders of political parties, and Santa General Public, Enna, Ebe, Babi Jamon, or Bitran of Hussein Fiti, no more Yes, sir, in cool Apple Dua or more Eddie Kama, so I saw Muni on Babi Jamon, you say, you will come back or conference center, say, Mama, you look a cool now, and Yabama, Mwenya, Baby, a Mosmo BD, a war, sir, Prussian, a Babi Chana, a chatu or no, a more political parties, volunteer groups near there, a stress among my assorted in your sergeant. And Bernard, that twenty sixth of January. No Kunumba, or Mampeni, another damp or Kufa, the Nina Bidia tree, and again a Mampeni, a Bessin Quetiasi, or so ever be trying to sing, and Sana heads of constitutional bodies, so Ababe, Jamano, a Bonundua, Parliament, Ababe Jamano, Speaker, and a former speakers, and Sana members of Parliament, a Babe Jamano, no do. A Bodumi, no, a Chief Justice, former Chief Justices, Justice of the Supreme Court, on Babe Jamano, a Bo. Duba Kwa, former chairman and members of the Council of State, former ministers of state, so Rabbi Jamano. A bon no me noa, diplomatic corps, a Rabbi Jamano. A son a bon no me and son, Nanano Matan Kumia, a near him fool. So I be Pesa Babi Jamano, no a Babi Jamano. Twenty seventh, Ukwadano, Black Star Square, the Atifan Independent Square, no, a hall, and a Yebeye, Neye Kesir. A straf way ye, so I said, now a commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. In Tipotokas, and you say a full military burial led by the Ghana Armed Forces. If we are a Kopene Krabia, a war military cemetery, a war Bema camp. Koma, a war, a whole. I'm gonna, uh, I haven't informed you in chief of protocol, but I'm gonna invite you to do a quick translation in Ever for me. I hope your Ever is good. To do a quick translation in Ever for me. Uh, and then after that, I will take um, questions from our colleagues who are here. So Mr. Kuma is the Acting Director, State Protocol. Thank you very much, Kekka Minister. I must say, I was taken by surprise, but I'll do my very best. Yo, I can't hear me. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say,
FDD ve kudodu tam raku ababa kek te kaminista kula ya wona wa aje kome kosira gbe 24th sorry um 22nd 23rd of january sienye um fira kula memory ya nima Emma, oh, okay, I'm Logan. Who could know, okay, I'm wrong. Emma, by Sunday, 24th of January, oh, mass, okay, the Holy Spirit Cathedral, the Gala Fee. Fiamma, Garde, showing a video. G gala F O S B is the L work. The game. Jurag be 25th of January. Two gani. Last day of year. Ghana. What lay body in state the conference and the lafi. And. Heads of security agencies, so the leaders of political parties, the general public are well, now opportunity to have a fire pass. I pay over last respect. Um, Blair Agbe, 26th of January 2021. To Gashiki, Radu Gaou, Diploma, the president, the vice president, former president, player heads of constitutional bodies in the Ghana, who are fire pass, I pay their last respect to former president Rollins, the late former president Rollins. Kanapu, 10 to 12, uh, the speaker of parliament, former speakers. Bless our Takwako, how about auto? I'm a bar, Chuka Weaver, Pastor Gareka, the Chief Justice, former justices and justices of the Supreme Court, for how what five months of people respect. Chuka Reka, Iga Vema, former chairman. And members of the Council of State, Hawa Wato, the former ministers of state, Gave, Gigatoa, members of the diplomatic corps, ambassadors, the high commissioners, Yaola Fia, Tohawa, the five past. And then, Mia Wunu, play the traditional or customary right, Chugaton. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ms. Kuma. Colleagues, I have a few minutes within which I'll take your questions um, right here. And um, I would encourage that your questions are restricted to the outline of activities as I've made available to you. And if there's any clarification I can provide, I'll do well to provide. Uh, one thing I did not mention in my initial outline is that the Thanksgiving service is uh, reserved for the family. Yes, sir. Introduce yourself. Please use the microphone. Let's be very quick. Thank you. Uh, my name is Atta Minson from Ghana News Agency. I want to find out whether the Funeral Planning Committee took into consideration the former president wishes regarding the funeral authorities put in place. Then two, I, I'm, I'm asking the second question based on what happened when the former UN Secretary died. His mortal remains was in the casket, but was laid in state. I want to find out whether 
it will be similar to what happened to former U.S. Secretary General or this one, the mortar remains will be exposed for the public to view. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Joseph Armstrong. I work with TV3. Uh, quick one. So on the day of the funeral, funeral right at the Independence Square, uh, are there going to be any restrictions for the general public that should be coming and also for the media that would want to uh, cover uh, are we going to be in accreditation and how soon and how should we apply for? Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take only one round of questions. So if you have a question, now is a good time to uh, raise it because I will not be coming back. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Tofe Captain Nasser from TV Africa. Um, I want to find out, during this period of COVID-19 that public gathering is not encouraged, what are some of the mechanisms put in place to ensure that we adhere to the protocols during this period? Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, Honorable yes. Minister. My name is Honorable Kofi from Daily Searchlight. What do you want to, uh, being buried in a crash here at Bamakam, this of his hometown. Thank you. Thank you have another question? Yes, sir. Yeah. I want to find out whether the media will be allowed to cover the, the unroll uh, traditional activities. Then, two, why not uh, the Assembly Park, but the former president will be at the military uh, at uh, camp, Bamakam, not at Assembly Park. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Good afternoon. Uh, yes, sir. My name is Blessed. I work okay. with Clark. I can't see you. Where are you? Okay. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Um, so, two quick questions. First of all, um, when the former president passed, we had an announcement from the president that there were plans to immortalize the uh, late president by renaming um, one of the universities after him. We understand that was not his wish. Uh, has government been able to reconcile the issues? And if you have, what then are the plans going forward to ensure that generations unborn and those who are yet to come would meet some relics that we can always learn about the late president? Thank you. Thank you. So I think I'll provide responses to your questions as I've received them uh, currently. But the former president's wishes factored into the planning uh, activities. Yes, they were. Second question is, uh, will the public have an opportunity to view the mortal remains of His Excellency, the former president? Yes, the public would have an opportunity to view the, former, the, the mortal remains of His Excellency, the former president. Will there be restrictions? There will be security and COVID-related uh, restrictions. As much as possible, um, if you want to observe on television from home, you are not stopped from doing so. If you want to uh, come pay your final respects, either here or at the Independence Square, you are reminded that there will be very strict COVID protocols and you are encouraged to comply with same. There's a question about um, the military cemetery as a choice of burial grounds. The military cemetery is now the designated place for the interment of former heads of state. There is a question about whether or not the press will be allowed to cover the celebrations and the traditional ceremonies in Anglo. Yes. And then there's a final question, or last but one question about press accreditation. My understanding is that the Ministry of Information, as it always does, will invite, uh, I think, from tomorrow, um, media houses that are interested in covering to apply and be accredited so that they can do so. I think these are the questions and these are the answers to them. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you uh, for attending upon our invitation. We apologize we delayed in uh, having you here, uh, but this is the brief that we have for you. While you wait, uh, the members of the funeral planning committee and the executives who are here with us will file out um, to go and wrap up their work. We thank you very much uh, for your cooperation.